I think property, <clears throat> if you're a prop, any property specialist knows that you handle everything. Yeah. You handle finances, you do your PR, you do your HR, mm. you are, you're, you are everything. And yeah. this is an industry that's the one industry that mm. you can actually learn multiple skills just by doing one thing. One thing. thing. As you know, I'm the host of the First Time Home Buyer Show, SD Class. And thank you so much to our viewers who join us every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. We really appreciate the love and support. And tonight's show is no different. This is literally living proof that age is just a number. I'm sitting with two young men who have been in the game for quite a while now and have so many lessons to teach us, Kyle McKay and Winston Kunene. Also, they are no stranger to your screens. I'm sure you've seen them on our other podcast a few months ago. And today I have the privilege of sitting down with them and chatting about everything we need to know about property, ins and outs, mistakes they've made, and lessons they've learned thus far. Good evening. How are you, Kyle? How are you, Winston? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? Well, thank you. I'm well, thanks. Wow. <laughs> I just got so nervous. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Um, I know, so guys, Kyle and Winston, you know, typical, typical men, uh, got lost. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you so much that you actually, you made it. And I really appreciate that you took time out of your day Jeez. and decided to spend it with us and obviously educate us and teach us more about this thing called property. So before we even get started, let me know about the two of you. Either one can uh, go Yo. first. <laughs> Yo, you, can, you take it, you take cool. it. So, um, so I'm the group executive of Libertalia Group. Mm -hmm. um, we specialize, so we're in the real estate industry and finance. Yes. And we specialize in property sales, property valuations, property management, uh, development. And that's just the real estate side of things. And on the finance section, we have partnered up with Uber. So mm -hmm. we do home loans. So we're not FSP right. registered, but we've partnered up with Uber to just assist clients with getting home loans and yeah. um so yeah and then we've got the last section which is education so mm -hmm. we do like tutorial courses it's it's not accredited courses right. so it's just rather training and mentorship like me, yeah. yeah yeah so um that's 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 who we are and a little bit about myself sure um very apparently i'm very funny okay so um i'll let you know at the end of the show yeah we'll, we'll, i'll tell we'll, you we'll, we'll, we'll try it out <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, no, but seriously, mm. I am entrepreneurial. I've mm -hmm. always been an entrepreneur, and it's been my passion. I'm passionate about golf. I play a lot of golf, um, reading, and a lot of hiking. And I'm a very family man. Like I, I enjoy yeah. spending time with family and friends, and very, I, I suppose, yeah. That's yeah. that's who I am. Nice, thanks, thank mm. you, Winston. <laughs> Kyle, let's hear. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go into that much depth, but sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think you know with. Libertalia, I think Winston you know, summed it up perfectly. I think we've, this last little quarter of the year, we've gone into kind of focusing on our education mm. sector and trying, I think we realized how much potential we had there, at least influencing yeah. the youth, uh, building our team. That was something that really stuck out, for, mm. at least for what I realized, um, that a lot of people aren't doing. Exactly, and with, with regards to your bio, you spoke about being passionate about educating the youth. Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. I think when I grew up, so I grew up with dyslexia and, mm. uh, you know, kind of a little bit of a learning side that was just a little, you know, it kind of threw you off. Right. So, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the education system, I'm just saying that it was just a different method of learning yeah. that uh, you kind of find along the way. So being in the, in the position of system creation, being in the position of now speaking to the youth, that is, they, our generation, yeah. they are batting to find work, but not just that, they're batting to get an understanding for the economy, mm -hmm. the, the environment, and that things are changing. Right. So I think all of those little criteria build into that education. Having mm -hmm. a conversation is still educating. Mm -hmm. um, not saying that you're taking the high ground and saying that I'm, yeah. I'm educating you, but right. you know, we're learning from each other. other yeah. And I think property, <clears throat> if you're a prop any property specialist knows that you handle everything. Yeah. You handle finances, you do your PR, you do your HR, mm -hmm. you are you're, you're everything. And yeah. this is an industry that's the one industry that right. you can actually learn 
multiple skills just by doing one thing. One thing. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's so important, especially earlier, Winston, you said you're an entrepreneur, right? Yes. And I'm sure you are too, yeah, Kyle, because definitely. you can't be in this game with, you're right, doing yeah. everything. Mm. And just before the show, we spoke about um, the transition to an online platform, yeah. whatever the platform may yeah, be. Definitely. And I'm sure that is also, uh, you know, Libertalia is using that as well as one of their strengths to educate yeah, the youth. So uh, that's what I, my next question. What exactly are you doing to educate the youth? Besides, you know, the, the, the basic teaching, having conversations, mentorship. What, are, like, example, maybe, because I, I, I want to break it down a little bit more. So, would it be lessons with the youth? Yeah. And what exactly would that lesson entail? Yeah. Stuff like that. So, I think, you know, with the, with the, youth, with the systems that we've least built and the, the presence of, kind of, Winston's social presence, the Battaglia's social presence, mm. You know, we've been able to kind of grab a following behind us. Um, and just like those online platforms, it, it's very difficult to, I even, I even think with kind of the economy that we're in, it's difficult to sometimes find transport to go do something sure. or, or whatnot. And <clears throat> we transitioned into a, an online platform yeah. where we actually took our courses, our property specialist courses, because I think we realized when we expanded our team, there's like a, a three month period mm. where you get into the industry and maybe you didn't, this was like something you didn't necessarily want to get into and you're only realizing this now. Right. Th that third month is when you realize. Mm. So you've spent three months learning the systems, learning that you need to lead generate or whatever the case may be. By the third month, you've not wasted three months, but you realize that this wasn't for me. Yeah. So we took our kind of, our mentorship, our training, our kind of skills that we learned and we packaged it into that course. That, right that the tutorial that goes over the three days, just educating people that, listen, if this is something that you want to do, mm. take the course, learn about it. Yeah. You, we always reach out to, this is something that we've made a point, we've always reached out. The moment someone wants to learn about the course, you reach out. Okay. Because then they're interacting with a real person. Right. If they aren't sure about something, they aren't going through a system to find out about it. Yeah. They are speaking to the person that's in the industry. Right. Um, not even just that, but at the end of that course, we taught you, mm. so why not bring you onto our team? Yeah. So yeah. where that like it just exactly. made some one big thing, and I think that was, but you also it gives the power back to the people. Yeah. Like you're educating someone now, they can make their mm. an educated decision whether property is for them. It's been a, a, a very interesting journey, yeah. kind of putting two and two together, a young mm. dynamic going into it and educating. Um, yeah, I'd like Winston just to chat about the that investment course because that's yeah, something yeah. for the people that didn't want to learn to be in property, uh, be a property specialist. That investment course yeah. is there to, yeah. to help people and educate right. people. Yeah, sure. And, and, and just to add on to what Carl was saying about your question, so um, the kind of mistakes that we've experienced mm. in the industry when we started mm. were quite. Um, detrimental right. I would say because you know you get into the industry no one tells you that you know registrations happen after mm. three months when you sell a property so you don't know that you need to survive within that three month period right. and those are the mistakes that we've learned we've had to my first sale was it took me six months to sell yeah. my first property but when we designed these courses uh, the tutorial course we were able to show people how to sell their first property in a month in, a t in two right. months time because of the mistakes that we've obviously yeah, yeah. gone through we teach people breaking it down further into budgeting. Mm. So um, your first commission that you get, this is how you can actually budget. This yeah. is how you budget your fuel into your viewings, mm. into your listings. Mm. So it's more of a mentorship um, type of thing, right. you know, showing, especially showing the youth, you know, because real estate is also, the level of entry is very low, right? right. So it's easy to just get in. Mm. It's not that difficult. Mm. Um, so um, yeah, I guess then everyone is met, can, you know, learn a few things. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want to uh, uh, oh, yeah. expand on the investment? Oh, yes, the investment yeah. props. So um, I, I personally have invested my first property uh, four years ago. Okay. So I've I've gone through those mistakes as well. So I've I've built quite a portfolio now mm -hmm. of properties that um, I've managed to, similar to what we're doing with the property specialists that we want to bring in into our team and, right. you know, just educating the youth. There's a sim similar way we want to do that for just first-time buyers, first-time mm -hmm. homeowners, you know, um, these are the things that you need to look out for yeah. when you're investing in a property, um, from credit to building a good credit to finding the right property um, mm -hmm. using. In fact, I think the course that we've designed as well 
is very beneficial because we have the tools, the necessary tools to find the right properties, yeah. to do market analysis on the property that you want to buy. Mm. So if you take our course, um, we're able to take through, you through all those processes. Um, right. How, you know, explaining buyer's market, the economy, how the actual property system works. Mm. Uh, we're able to, so not only are you we just finding you, helping you find the right properties, we also help you build your credit score. Um, you know, with our partnerships, our accredited partnerships, so Uber, um, yeah. Keller Williams, and, and, and so forth, so mm. yeah. I, I like what you said earlier, um, because you, I love that the two of you have gone through these processes and now you're giving back. And earlier, Kyle, when you were explaining, the only thing that came to mind was this ecosystem yeah, thing. you've got to give back. Exactly. Yeah. And they come straight back into the company. Like, it just, it's this... Yeah, it's got to, you have to feed that hand. Right. Then, that's why I think the, the no shots fired to any of our competitors, but it's a very, <laughs> it's a very old school mm, method. Mm. You know, there's, there's systems in place, I understand, but... A business has four stages. That last stage is yeah. that decline stage. Yeah. And you have a chance to adapt and, and, and grow with the, the system mm. that you're in. Mm. And then the property industry didn't, a lot of people didn't do that, so they faded off. Right. So we, we saw that little niche. We started doing it. We started implementing our social media. We started implementing the people that were around us. We yeah. didn't put ourselves on a, like a pedestal and yeah. say, well, this is, this is now... Follow me on point. Yeah. I think we ha I had one of our guys reach out to us the other day and I was driving to a viewing and he's it's kind of early in the morning and he still said to me, no, oh, but I thought you would be sitting at home doing nothing. I'm like, I'm out here with you. <laughs> like, I'm out here doing the yeah. same thing you're doing. Yeah. Like, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. If I right. learn something, I'll tell you. And if you please learn something, then share it with share, your team. Yeah. And that's the whole point of it. Just having a guidance and having someone to take lead, take charge, yeah, moving forward. But, but a lot of us have that that mindset uh, that once you're done educating someone, you you sitting at home, yeah, you're, you're sitting relaxing. Doing nothing. No, that's not you know you can't. <laughs> and I think that's so powerful because the two of you are you quite young. So what's so amazing is that you are aware of the fact that someone that you might have mentored can still educate you yeah, at the end of the day. And that, I love that yeah. you still spend the time with them. And definitely, there yeah, is a, a mentorship goes both ways. Yeah, you learn your. You, you, a mentee mentors you yeah, as well. Yeah. It still shows you both sides. You're never just done. Exactly. And especially, we're young. Well, am I going to be done now? Yeah. I'm no. going to be done. <laughs> like, what am I going to yeah. do? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, so, I mean, we don't no. have all the answers. No. I wanted to go back to what Winston said about budgeting and all these, you know, yeah. these courses. Obviously, we need to know that, especially for um, getting into this industry. And just recently, I did a show where. Uh, an estate agent, this young woman was talking about how she would, you know, travel with public transport and this, this was just her dream, it was mm -hmm. a goal and she just didn't give up. She was like, I don't have a car but I want to do this. And we never talk about budgeting and finances yeah. from your point of view. Yeah. You know, we always giving that advice to people who are investing in <laughs> property or whatever the case may be. So let's talk about it with regards to your industry and what you're doing on the daily, because you're so right. You're doing viewings all the time. Yeah. You, you, you're up and down. Yeah. And our current economy is not helping. Yeah. So yeah, how, how do you manage? I think, um, so it's quite, a, it's quite a game of chess if mm. you think about it, but um, so let's, okay, I'll just give practical examples. Sure. If an agent gets into the industry and they list their first property, so if, they load it onto the systems, you know, admin loads the property into the systems, and then they start getting inquiries. So if you get 10 inquiries in one week, yeah. um, arrange to show all of them on one day. It's, it's actually like a, an American system that they do. Yeah. It's a like multi-listing way. You only view on this day. So they've got like dates where you have to go and view. Right. Like you, so the mistakes that a lot of people do as well getting into the industry is they get an inquiry, mm -hmm. they get very excited. Right. And they immediately want to go and cool. view. Like yeah. you, you've got a budget for mm. for that specific day yeah. to, to drive there to do viewing. So yeah. why don't you gather all your appointments onto one day? Yeah. Um, whether it's a show house or whether it's during the week. Mm. Um, so it's it's you it makes a huge difference difference if you track your finance on a daily basis and you realize that last month without using the system mm. I spent over 3,000 rand on fuel oh yeah um, but I kind of cut 50% off because mm. I use the system where I just do viewings on one on one specific day, yeah. day or, or even two days yeah. um, twice a week 
So, um, so it's stuff like that that we just, it's practical and logic, but it's also, um, you know, stuff based on experience. Right. Yeah. Finding a system that works for you. That works for right? you Right, because well. it could be yeah. different for every other agent exactly. out there as well. Um, I, don't, I don't think we've, un I think you've answered this question, but I haven't asked it. Um, so maybe if we can go into depth. Guys, why property? <laughs> why? Like. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to go first? Uh, you go first. Okay. I'll hold up Thank you. Um, <laughs> I've been entrepreneurial, so I've been selling like cold drinks, drinks yes. at school, yeah. and um, you know, I've kind of built relationships at school as well. So, mm. the moment when I had to um, find my purpose it was very quite difficult. So, I was just shopping around what can I sell? What's the one thing that I want to go and focus on right. doing forever? Um, and I and I think. I never, I never thought it would have been property. Mm. So I actually thought it would be, into, it would be recruitment, right? Because, because you, you, you're sourcing, you're facilitating exactly. um, opportunities for mm. people. So I got into that industry. Um, so worked there as a receptionist. Um, worked my way up. I remember the the late the lady. Um, she she even offered. She said, if you work hard for the next three years. Uh, we could give you a managerial position. Mm -hmm. You know, we just always had those conversations because yeah. I told her I wasn't, I was looking for a purpose, and I think this was it. Yeah. And surprisingly, so what happens is that as a receptionist, you get the applications, right? Right. And I have access to those applications, yeah. so like, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of saw um, a vacancy for right. a lady that was in property for Pam Golding Properties, uh -huh. and she was looking for a PA. And I had seen a few videos before on property, but like mansions and like American yeah. guys, like, you know, Brian and right. and all these big guys and, and Joe. So I, I, I kind of, I kind of thought maybe let's see if we can get into something like this, very similar, like mm -hmm. this properties in Santin type of thing. You yeah. Know? So uh, when I got into it, it was really a matter of just trying it out and, and seeing if it would work. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, then I, I got the, the opportunity with her. I, 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 I approached her and she was like, yeah, cool. You, actually, I was, I'm looking for someone like you. Mm -hmm. Very well spoken, blah, blah, blah. During the interview and I, and I got into it. And she was, I was, I kind of, you know, aroused myself through the way because I didn't even, yeah. I wasn't into property. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, um, yeah. So how then I realized that property was my passion was when I started developing as a person, like my personal development right. was growing rapidly. Mm. And I and I started realizing that it's it's actually <clears throat> this is the kind of industry that that give, that gives you that personal development. Yeah. You can like houses all you want, but you, it's a passion, yes, but it's what what is it doing to you internally? To you, yeah, you know, yeah. what, like mentally, emotionally, intellectually, psychologically, what mm. is it doing to you? And the moment I discovered that, that's when I found my purpose in 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 the industry, and I and I and I stripped everything, I took everything all in, and I started developing, reading, yeah. training, um, and that's where I saw the the passion as well come into place. From okay, mm. I like that. <laughs> that was, yeah. It's almost like you know, property called you, listening yeah. to your story. Yeah. You know, you came across this, and then you just yes. jumped at the opportunity and yeah. took it and still today you're still there yes. what about you Kyle? <laughs> um you know i think i think a lot of young people don't know what they want to do yeah. and i think i was in the same boat but i know i didn't want to work that that typical desk job mm. i didn't i wanted to be out there yeah <clears throat> and uh, uh winston and i did some work together and then through you know certain events happening I, I got the opportunity to to join alongside real estate mm. and i thought about it for a while and i was doing the marketing for libertalia at the time so mm -hmm. it was just winston um it wasn't being it wasn't the main focus but i was handling the marketing for right. it and then i spent so long doing the marketing that i was like well the only way i'm going to learn is if i actually get my feet wet True. so i think we had a chat that December and then we sorted it out in the February and we started and at least I was brought on and then you know I think I was so determined to to use this finally getting an opportunity to actually yeah. grab control of, of such a great potential yeah and I saw the potential it had you, know, mm. you see people in it and it's funny agents have like this specific thing about them that they've gone through it all yeah you know, they, yeah it, it, it's it's a rough time mm. So, you know, I, I was just excited to go through that. Right. And um, 
yeah, it just it just started. It just was pushed through. I just mm -hmm. and with Winston's help, I got my first sale within like the first week of oh, listing wow. a, a property. And, yeah, you know, we still got an offer the next week as well. And then so it's it was, we're onto something. Yeah, and we just kept doing that. We there's the two of us pushing Libertalia, and we we're doing this thing. Right. We're like, okay, well, let's how far can we go with it? Mm. And we built our foundations, and then that for me, working alongside property as well as building a system and growing as a as an individual and yeah. having full control out of my fan, my finances mm. but if i need money and i want to reach a certain goal then i can do that right. i can 100 percent do that that is possible mm. and knowing that that's possible and seeing other people achieve it and that's exactly what i want to share with my guys right. if you guys can see we're doing it we want to do the same thing mm. <laughs> we want exactly. to be better than what we are yeah and the the fluidity of that was mm. what kind of grabbed me on it. With regards to personal development on your side, mm. do you see obviously growth as well with, yeah, with one, that? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I remember, I think one of my deals early on, early, early on, mm -hmm. it fell through. And before I was a very like uh, you know, anxious person. Yeah. And that that deal went on. Now, typically if it falls through, it must only fall through like within one or three days like okay. it, that's the pro but this w was like a two-week process forever <laughs> long but the lady just wasn't responding yeah it was like dragging me mm -hmm. and i'll never forget it like there's a heartbreak yeah because it was two like two yeah. weeks it wasn't even a quick one it yeah. wasn't it was and it sounds for people at the outside it yeah. sounds bad but you are a young person in the industry this is going to be one of like almost your beginning stages yeah. in sales and it's just not going to happen um and it's happening over two weeks. Right. Like it's going, it's just going. It's not stopping. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know, I think after that process, that same night that she officially was like, "No, we can't." I'm like, "Okay, perfect." Started calling my other buyers, and we right. started going back in. And you don't even realize that mm. it's over. Exactly. And now, it's, even when it comes to deals now or rough clients or whatever, you realize that no matter what happens at the end of the day, right. the sun is still gonna set. Yeah. Like it's. It yeah, doesn't, it's I'm, not going to... Exactly, I'm literally, I'm listening and I'm like, okay, that's that's resilience right there. Yeah. you got, you know, you got to be, you got yeah. to be. Especially, I mean, uh, I'm sure Winston and I can share some, some good stories. Mm -hmm. uh, we have time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if this is something you want to release <laughs> now. <laughs> but, I mean, we can. You it's know, part there, of the there, there were times where we had this magazine article. Can I tell them about that one? Yeah. Your magazine, one of our first <laughs> magazines. Yeah. It was same here in Rudaput. And... <laughs> <laughs> we, you have we to were, tell me we were mm. like a K away. Right. We were on this now we were on time. We were <laughs> mm -hmm. making it. Yeah. And then the car just dies. What? The it car just be. doesn't and it just doesn't it doesn't want to drive. Right. And we're like, okay. And we don't even know what the problem is. We don't know what the problem <laughs> is. And now we we, let, we ride it. I don't even think the lady knows. I we rode it well, to she will after watching this. Right, it's fine. fine. <laughs> it, we rode it to the place and yeah. up the road. We parked it outside the venue. Like yeah. the building was like, yeah, we parked yeah. it down the road. Yeah. We walked in. I don't even know what we said. I don't think we said we Ubered. Oh yeah, we Ubered. <laughs> <laughs> we Ubered. And, but we we walked in, we did that interview and then we went out and we sorted the problem. And then down the road, the car breaks down again. We were sitting by the petrol station <laughs> until like five. Oh wow. <laughs> and that's happened like yeah. so many times where yeah. something's something like it's it's crazy. That's but, crazy. But mm. I think it, it's part of it, and I mean, we laugh at it quite often, yeah. and it's going to make a great story down the line. But you know, it's that's going to happen. Exactly. And that's almost as as bad as that sucks. It's almost half the fun. Right. It's not knowing that this is going to happen, right. and we're going to sit there, and we're going to we're going to talk a yeah. lot about like rubbish and whatever. And you like also in the moment you have to make a plan. Yeah. Like you no, have you to have get, to. And that's what and real that's estate is. Exactly. Yeah. You got. You got exactly. to. Exactly. And no, I think as I a young person, mm. you need, and it's. It, it throws you in. Yeah. Like you need to. Your buyers aren't. They can't afford this house, but they really want it. What are your? What are? What are you mm. going to do about it? Yeah. Are you going to find? Make a plan. What can they do? Right. Am I going to sit? Like you. There's so many solutions for a single problem, mm. and that's what it teaches you. Mm. And it, it's just. It's such a. It's such an open canvas. Develops. Right. Yeah. It develops you as a person, and that's why, I think, a few of our guys that we brought on are, are super young. We've watched them develop since early this year, and they, it, it's, you can it's see like watching growth. your child grow. You right. know, you, in, they're in their influential yeah. stages. They they just made their first 40k in university, and you're like, 
you go. Like, yeah. you know, that's that's fantastic. You that was literally going to be my next question because I, I also work with people and to separate emotion. And it's so difficult to separate emotion yeah. when you're mentoring someone yeah. or you, you know, you're on this journey with them. So how are you handling that? Because you literally said it's like my child, watching my yeah. child grow. But so. listen, I think it helps having two people. It's like we're parents. Because right. then like I'll right. call and say, I'm like, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and we'll, like, we'll vent. If, if he's venting, you, I need to tell him to calm down. Yeah. 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 He's venting, he needs to tell yeah, him. It's, yeah, it's like having, but it's, it's always, it never, I think it's also a separation that if something happens, just like a child, you got to realize, or just like your child, you got to realize that sometimes the world will throw a curveball. Exactly. Uh, as much as I, I don't want all my agents to yeah. fail on their deals, yeah. but I know it's going to happen. Mm. Like, but what I can do from mm. my side is prepare them for that. Right. I can't. I can't stop it. Yeah. But I can prepare them. Yeah. So, you know, and that's a moment thing. We've had a few times where our deals just haven't have fallen through, especially yeah. on their first offers. And the only thing we can really do is, you know, well, you know what. That's all right. Well yeah. done on getting your first offer. Exactly. Like, <laughs> I can definitely see how personal development is like the core of this, of, of your yeah. industry. 100%. Like it's breaking, yet there's so many rewards at the end of the day. But, yeah. oh, wow. Okay. It's a lot. <laughs> yes. I have two. I have a question for each of you now, right? So, Kyle, what does success mean to you? Winston, what is failure? I think um, failure is... is losing hope for yourself mm. it's losing respect for yourself it's giving up um quitting yeah when you quit and it's um it's so many it's experiences and and if it depends how you you know how you take the experience as a person so um and i think yeah it's just such a difficult question i've never been asked that but i, I love that question what has failure taught you <laughs> Sure, it's taught me so many things. Um, it's, it's, I think it, it's taught me to be selfless. Yeah. It's taught me to be selfless, to think long-term, mm. longevity. Um, it's taught me to, like Carl said, resilience. It's mm. perseverance. It's taught me um, just to keep going. And, and I think there's a correlation with, you know, every time you do something and yeah. it doesn't work out, so you fail it, right? Yeah, yeah. It always... Actually, it elevates you to the next level um, mentally. Yeah. You start thinking, though. So it's it's got levels. Like yeah. level one is this is where I am. These are the problems I'm experiencing right yeah. now. The moment you you start failing, you're gonna start looking for that solution for that will take you to level two. Exactly. So by the time you get to level two, okay, level three, level four, you're now dealing with level four problems. Mm. So the same problem you had in, in on level one, one yeah. means nothing to you mm -hmm. anymore. Um, so I think that's 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 the correlation of failure and success, <clears throat> and I think it's actually failure. Is, it is the key to success. Mm. There's levels to this thing, yeah. eh? even this failure thing. <laughs> um, failure is the key to success. Mm. Yo, <laughs> I, I think that was a good end. That was it. That was a, <laughs> Ended on a high note. Yeah, I, I think uh, success, and I, I know this is a bit of a subjective answer, but I think on a personal level, considering we're talking about levels, yeah. I think success is once you can. You see what you've done, and you're proud, yeah. and you're content, and you you know what you've done is is great. Because mm. obviously, I think when you, and especially entrepreneurs, when you are pushing so hard, you have horse blinders on. You don't see yeah. what's happening next to you. You don't, even with properties, but you don't ever see. You're putting on so much work to make something work. Mm. You don't see the the amount of results you get exactly so i think success is once those horse blinders come off and mm -hmm. you are content and you are you're pushing forward but i also think a counter argument is that if you can wake up in the morning without an alarm clock and you are happy that to me is success mm -hmm. you are you are successful yeah you are doing something you love you have full control out of your mm -hmm. your positioning in life and you aren't feeling like some this heavy Burden. At least the, if it is a heavy burden, it's not a burden. It's just right. okay, cool. I got this. Yeah. Um, so I think success is being in a point in your life where you're happy, you're content, mm. you are ready for the future, and you're excited for the future. Right. You know, instead of bowing down and saying, "Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm finished." Yeah. You are. You're ready. Mm. And that, to me, is, is success. success. Yeah. 
as simple as that. Yeah, that's There's all you no need. No need to complicate it. Exactly. Yeah. I also do believe listening to you that success means different things to different people. 100%. Right. So yeah. because I just remember asking this question to someone else and their answer was it was the epitome of like uh, this imaginary world where <laughs> everything just went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, no. Yeah. You know? I think if you're comfortable in the world and position that you're in, yeah. Uh, then I think that's success. I think if mm. you are, if your aim is to make your, you know, a friend smile that, that day that you know is doing bad. Right. Then that could also be If success. you know that your client's been doing, and that, as you could have not gone a single listing for a week, but if you made, you, you know you help five clients get right. their pre-approvals and you help them get, cool. That like is. You, you're making it. Exactly. <laughs> I know that the two, of, you, you know, the fact that you're still mentoring and the fact that you still are open to being taught and to learning lessons from your mentees on the daily, it means you're not done. No. Right, your, uh, your, your, your ten-year goal is my next question, but I don't want to phrase it like that. Um, I know you're not done. You're sitting here. It, there's so much more to achieve, yes. right? Um, so, Winston, five years from now, right? Yeah. Success is obviously with with regards to Kyle's definition. Five years from now, where do you see yourself, and is success? in that room with you? What, what's happening in five years? Um, wow, in five years, okay. So I, I see, I see a, a very, yeah, very, um, you know what, I actually have a great answer to this. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> in five years, um, the moment I, I step into, whether it's a training room or um, we've registered over, <clears throat> 20,000 estate agents in the country. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you where this is coming from, by the way, because sure. at the moment we only have 50,000, about 50,000 registered estate agents with the EAB. Oh. So EAB is um, Estate Agency Affairs Board, yeah. so it's the regulator. And real estate contributes 2 trillion in GDP, just for the GDP. Mm -hmm. So 50,000 estate agents are sharing yeah. 2 trillion. Right. So um, there's, there's a demand and I think if I can get into a, a, a room or sit into a board, um, whether it's at the EAB, mm -hmm. and I am realizing that every, the, we've reduced the unemployment rate, mm -hmm. especially the youth unemployment rate, uh, because it's on, on 33% now. Yeah. And 33% of that is, 72% of that is, is youth, is the right. youth. So if, if I could see that, if I could try and reduce that in five years, I'd, I'd see that as success. It's, right. it's definitely a selfless gesture. I would. I think success is defined by how many people around you are successful. Yes. So. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what about you, Cal? I'm. I'm assuming the two of you are going to go together to <laughs> to the top. You yeah. know, being and we didn't even find out how you guys. Oh yeah, you did. You did mention that earlier, <laughs> but very briefly. Yeah. Um, so yes, five years from now with. Uh, yeah. Your version. I think, I think there's always two sides. So I think I'd love to be in that same position where we are now on the board of making uh, a nation impact, not mm. necessarily just a, a youth impact, but we're now we're on the board to actually may help make those decisions. Right. Um, you know, I think I mine's going to be a little bit more towards our team. I think I, I just want our team. I want us to be at a at such a competitive number of agents that are everywhere. I right. want us to be every little town everywhere. And I want to make sure that that's, that that's sustainable, that mm. that's obtainable for the average person. If someone wants, they never left without any option. Yeah. Um, I want our systems to be there that if they feel like they're going to fall, they can come into real estate, we got them, we'll give them that education, we'll help right. them. Um, so I want our systems to, our systems and our agents to be nationwide mm -hmm. and us to be in a position where we are now making an impact and can actually right. start pushing forward some mm. of the things. I like that. Um, because of time, I have two final questions and then I want to play a little game with, um, with you guys if you don't mind. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're like, no, we have to mm. go. No. To, <laughs> like, 
Can't play games. Yeah. What if the car breaks down again? Yeah. <laughs> Me too, you don't prepare for these things. Um, okay, this one. I'm trying to figure out who to give it to, but I feel like I know you guys now because, uh, you know, just from these 20 I'm minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Actually, fine. Kyle. Mm. If happiness was money, what would your job be? Happiness what I'm doing now. Right. Yeah. No, I figured you'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit right? hypocritical of me saying that. <laughs> I'd be a fireman. Where I am now, that's, yeah. I'm the richest man. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Winston, the best piece of property advice you were ever given by a mentor, someone? Calculation. So mm-hmm. calculate. Um, so one of the mistakes that first-time buyers do, um, first-time home buyers do, yeah. is they they just want to view property, so they go on private property and they just look at listings, and then they do the viewing. They meet the estate agent, yeah. and they want to make an offer. They haven't pre-qualified. Um, they don't know if you're buying to a sectional title. You don't know what the costs are in terms of the rates, levies. Yeah. You don't know that. Um, you know sometimes you're not advised correctly, like. You know, sometimes if if you, uh, annually the levy might increase by six percent. Mm. Um, you know, if you, you know, what happens? What what are the rates that just went up? We, right. The rates went up in June, July, I think. Yeah. 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 So it's just a numbers game, and mm. I think that that's the mistake that I made with my first property. I, I did exactly that. Right. <laughs> I just went and I was excited and I was, um, I'm ready to buy a property. Yeah. Um, and I didn't calculate. I only started, um breaking even on the second because oh. now I had to pay for the yeah for those uh levies the you know and, well exactly yeah technically because the tenant would pay I would still have to cover the bond mm. I would have to cover all these other costs but I would still have shortfalls yeah so I was told to calculate um after that yeah <laughs> and but I kind of I kind of also learned from the experience knowing that I should have calculated exactly. so I think that's the best piece of art I've received, received and I would give and share with mm. others Kyle, mm. best piece of advice you've ever given? I've ever, I've ever given? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, yo, have I given you advice? So many times. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice I've given you? Yeah. Yo, be nice. This is PG. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you, you, you've given me, like, Kyle's so wise. Um, I think the best advice he's given me is on, on a woman. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did Kyle we, say? We, we said best advice. I'll take it. Yeah. What, <laughs> did he, what, what did he say? What was the advice? You can't just be like, it was about a woman. <laughs> it's fine. Take this outside. <laughs> I, okay, what does I he see, say? I actually, I actually I just, look yeah. up to his relationship okay. that he has. Um, and... I always see how he, d- he deals with the situation. Yeah. They've been together for a long time. I'm not going to get into his private <laughs> sure. business. Sure. <laughs> <but>, yeah. <laughs> but um, he's, the way he deals, I, I wish, you know, I've seen, I've seen other relationships, mm. r- relationships myself. I mm. struggle with, 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 with relationships. So I learned quite a lot of stuff with Carl and I, as I progressed. And I kind of, I kind of saw it, you know, propelling, doing right. better. And yeah. So hence I'm saying it's the best. <laughs> It's the best advice he's given because, yeah, it's, I, I think this was one but, man that knows how to deal with women. There's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't cut that one. No, no. We'll no, cut that. No, 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 one it doesn't matter. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter at all. Um, I think the best piece of advice I've ever given was um, you've got to let go, mm. I think. And that's why it's not the property journey stops becoming so emotionally attaching because you, you let it go. Yeah. It, it happens, it's, it comes, it goes, properties come, properties go. Yeah. And then also that paired with listening, mm. I think. You stop, the frustration stops when you start listening. When you stop yelling over someone right. and start listening and being like, okay, well, listen, I understand. Yeah. And uh, I think those two paired together will propel you through your property mm. journey. Mm. 
Like that and the relationship tenfold. advice that you yeah, yeah, I don't get involved. That yeah. you are there giving. But I like to just point out. Yeah. He says that I'm dealing with it. I think it's a two-way street. I think <laughs> no, we both. Really of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you brought uh, listening because it's so important. You're right. A lot of the time, and I'm coming back to Joburg. It's so noisy. It's so loud. It's yeah. so rushed. We tend to not listen yeah, enough, definitely. right? And there are things to be heard. Yeah. And. Um, there's there's a fine line between listening and hearing someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and figuring out what that is. And you're right, letting go as difficult as it is, um, in any situation. Thanks for the relationship advice. <laughs> let go, guys. <laughs> let go. Let go. You went Stop back. <laughs> let go. Stop yeah, it. that's <laughs> and and um, it's a it's a powerful tool to have um, for yourself to not hold on to things for too long and mm. and then to just let the moment pass and you know carry on with it. Yeah. So the game, guys, are you ready? Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> so what we're doing is, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys three properties, okay? And you then have to guess the price range of these properties. Oh, wow. okay. um, I can give you clues such as the area, <laughs> location, whatever the case may be. That is about it. That is all I can give mm -hmm. you. Your clue, it's in Bryanston. Okay. <laughs> if you need more, you can ask for more. You can just push play. Okay, so I'm just going to guess the price. That's it. Price. Let's go. Mm. 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 <laughs> Cheese. Kyle <laughs> just wants you to lose. Do you want to okay. know how many bed and bath? Okay. Will that help? I think, can I take the guess already? Yeah, sure. Um, I need to find the prices yeah. if you're right. Um, 9.8 million. Wow, that's like so specific. 9.8. This is the kind of that property is that. In <laughs> <laughs> you're writing a description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is incorrect. I know. Uh, <laughs> um, 600,000, I'm telling you. In Bryanston? Hey, it had it's a falling, tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get eight? Guys, yeah, yeah, Bryanston's a falling <laughs> suburb. I live in Bryanston. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you said, okay, so that's wrong. So I'm going to give it, Cal, you watched it, right? Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. Um, how many bed and bath? Yeah, six. six. Bed and six bath. Is it in an estate? I only gave you, I gave you Bryanston, I gave you six bed, six bath. Hey, you didn't ask the question. Winston yeah. didn't get so much information. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a guessing game. I'll take, uh, your, I'll take, I'll bump it up, I'll take 12.5. Very close. Yo. It's 11. It's 11 more, well Let's done. See. Okay, Kyle nice. has one point. <laughs> 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 I should have brought up Bryanston quickly. <laughs>